What's going on, Facebook world? Brimo Morales here, making sure that everything's working and I'm online. Here we go. Coo, 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 coo. Super excited to be here, guys. Today I am going to talk about Facebook ads, why they matter, how freaking powerful this tool is, and how big of a blessing it can be for your business, for yourself as a brand. You know. You can do so many amazing things with Facebook ads, and I just want to give you just a little taste of the power that it has. So if you can see and hear me okay, type yes in the comments down below so I know you're here, I know you're ready, I know you're pumped and excited just like I am because I am super pumped to be bringing you this knowledge right now. So if you can see and hear me, type yes in the comments and let's get this thing going. What's up, Lisa? Thanks for watching. Super excited to have you here. All right. Now I am going to go ahead and share my screen so that you guys can follow along and see what it is that I'm doing. So here we are on my Facebook fan page. And yesterday I showed you a little quick snippet of a way to post a Facebook ad really quickly. So I'm going to just uh, refresh your memory about that and it's called boosting a post so you can boost any post you can boost a picture you can boost videos you can boost pretty much anything on your Facebook fan page which is gonna help you get a lot more visibility and is gonna help your audience see what you've been working on and what you've been doing so if you scroll down a little bit you will see the boost post button right here and this is where the magic happens basically so you're gonna click on boost post again this is the easiest way to make this happen and it's going to bring up this little I don't even know what to call it editor I guess you could say is what it is um, and it it tells you where you know how you want to set this up and it, like I said this is the easy route so there isn't as many options here as in the other way that I'm going to show you how to post ads but this is a quick and easy way if you just want to get you know your followers to kind of look at something that you've put out and get more visibility this is the way to go you can boost for a dollar a day and start getting more and more people looking at what you've got going on so if you want you know people to like message you or something you can say they can message you with messenger your audience again you can pick and choose where you want them to be um, you want 18 to 65 if they you know you can choose through targeting so we can edit this and we can put in you know men women all the age where you want them to be in the United States inside of Texas itself that's where I'm at so that's probably why it's doing that you can also you know do other countries you can say New Zealand Oops, I can smell that right. New Zealand. Or you could type in Canada. Wherever you want, you know, to reach people, you can do it literally anywhere in the world because there's over like a billion people on Facebook. So you can target pretty much anywhere. You can also type in different demographics or interests or behaviors. So someone that likes snowboarding, they're probably going to like Sean White. So you type in Sean White. And anybody that likes Sean White, you know, and it tells you, I'm too specific because it has Texas on there as well. So let's take Texas off of that. Um, let's say United States. And potential reach 2,000 people. I don't know why it's so small, but I guess Sean White doesn't have a big audience. See, it says the size of his audience right there, 3,500. So anything like that, you could even do things like TV shows or books, things along those lines. You can type in all of that right here in the demographics, and you can specifically target people. You can specifically target people that like your page, who like your page and their friends. You can create your own audience. You know, there's all sorts of different little options right here. You can run it for a day, seven days, 14 days, or you can set a specific date. You can do a total budget. And it'll tell you, you know, about how many people you're going to reach per day. And then you just throw in your payment method. And again, this is the quick kind of easy way to do it. If you're looking just to like get a little bit more uh, visibility in it. Uh, Brian Crawford, can you include links in a boosted post? You can do links in a boosted post. You'll just have to have already had it in the post before you wrote it. So I would have had to have already put a post, uh, put a link in this particular post when I boost it, but you absolutely can 
put links in there. What's up, Joetta and Brian? Again, thank you for watching. Lisa, again, thank you for watching. Keep your questions coming. I definitely want to answer these as I'm going along. But yes, you can put links in boosted posts if the link is already in that particular post. You can say you want it visible just in the mobile news feed and the desktop news feed. You know, wherever you want it to be seen, you can actually do that as well. So that's that. But now I don't want to I don't want to save that. Now we're going to get a little more advanced. And I don't want to scare you guys with what I'm about to show you. Let me put this back on me for a second here. So I don't want you guys to get scared of what I'm about to show you. If you have never used, you know, Ads Manager or any of, of that stuff um, on the back end of Facebook before, don't get scared. You can absolutely learn this stuff. You can Google this stuff. You know, um, I'm just going to show you just a snippet of it. I'm not going to go deep diving into it because there's plenty of education out there for you. I actually can send you in the right direction of a product that has amazing education on this. But for now, I'm just going to show you the nitty gritty, the little itty bitty um, previews of it so that you can see how powerful this is for your business and how you can use that. So let's go back to my screen. Nope, not that. To my screen real quick. And we are in Ads Manager right here. And it looks kind of scary. It's not scary, I promise. It's just, you know, it's a little overwhelming when you first are learning this, but once you get the hang of it, it's super simple. So this is Ads Manager, and where you go to get here is you go to business.facebook.com and you can set up your Ads Manager. I'm not gonna get into how to set everything up and things like that. Again, there's tutorials and videos and things that you can Google and look up yourself. I'm just gonna show you how to navigate around it a little bit. But what you can do is you can create yourself a campaign, and none of my campaigns are running right now, but set up a campaign. Let's just let's just go through the process really quick. So we can create a new campaign. And this is awesome because you can set specifically what you're trying to do with this campaign. Are you trying to drive traffic to your audit to a website or somewhere? Do you want engagement? Do you want people to watch a video? You know, lead generation messages. I mostly stick to video views and I stick to conversions depending on what I'm doing, but you have a lot of options to work with as you're going through this. And then you would just name your campaign, you know, I'm just going to name it something generic because I'm going to delete it when we're done anyway. And then you just go continue. So from there, you can name your ad set. It was campaign and then it's ad set and then it's ad. And inside the ad set is where you can figure out who you want to target. Again, just like we were looking at the boosted post, it gets even more advanced right here. You can create custom audiences of people that have watched your videos before or gone to your website before, or maybe they're even on an email list. You can actually upload email lists to Facebook and create audiences like that. This is incredibly, incredibly freaking powerful. So if you've got a newsletter you send out or something and you want to email those people or you want those people to see a specific ad for a product or an event or something you've got going on, that is incredible. So if you have a custom audience, that's where you're going to put it right there. If you don't, again, you can target people in specific locations. So United States is where I mostly stick to in Canada. You can set the age range to whatever you want. If you just want men, if you just want women, and then you would type in the language. I always do English because, you know, that's the language that I speak. You can also, again, look into different interests and demographics and behaviors. You can look in, you know, income people's income base, you know, other um, entrepreneurial types, whatever you're looking for. I use a lot of these because I am in the affiliate marketing entrepreneurial type space. But you can look up different types of interests based on what they like to do. Games, action games, board games, you know, there's 50 million people that like board games and things like that. So if you have some game that you want to promote, this is a really good place to promote it. And I'm going to pause right here and I'm actually going to show you an incredible freaking tool that Facebook has because this is just amazing. Um, I guess you couldn't see everything that I was showing in here. Sorry, I'll scroll down a little bit more so that you can see it. Um, again, hobbies and activities, pets, people that like pets, dogs, cats, all sorts of different stuff if you have a pet related product. But I'm going to pause again and I'm going to go to an incredible tool called Audience Insights to where you can see an even bigger platform and search for the type of person that you want to get your stuff in front of. So Audience Insights and you're going to come here 
and you're going to click on everyone on Facebook. And I'm gonna go that. Um, again, you can do the country, all United States, Canada, whatever you want. Age, let's do 23 to 59 randomly. All men and women. And this is amazing because it's gonna kinda show you, even without any interests or anything like that, it's going to show you, you know, 54% women. It's gonna show you how many, you know, percentage of people on Facebook compared to your interest right here. Relationship status, you know, 5% um, are engaged, 52% are married, single, 28%, 16% in a relationship, their education level, college, if they went to grad school, if they've done high school, what a lot of their job titles are, um, or like what industry that they're in, veterans, um, life and physical sciences, com computation and mathematics, like it, this is incredible. And I haven't even typed in a certain interest or anything yet, but it tells you all of this stuff right here once you start working here on the left, this column over here, and start kind of digressing and seeing exactly what you want to target. From there, like I said, I haven't even put any interests yet, but this demographic, people 23 to 59, this is like the average. You can look at page likes, and this is where you will see, you know, what they like and what they're already looking at and already into, which is, is incredible. So this particular demographic, their brewery is Budweiser, Bud Light. They like Patron Tequila. They shop at Ikea. You know, they like Book VIP Club or their travel agency. They like Dollar Shave Club and Ipsy. Planet Fitness, Groupon, T-Mobile, Gerber, Redbox. And then you can even scroll down more. That's, that was just the top 10, but you can scroll down more. And there's so many more things that these people like, particularly, you know, on average. And from there, you can grab, you know, let's just grab Ikea. Oops, it takes me over there, that's not what I want. Um, what I want wanted to see was, here we go. Down here at the bottom, the page likes. It tells you, you know, how big the audience is. So 3.6 million people like Budweiser. 2.7 million people like Patron Tequila in this audience. And it gets really specific when you're starting to target things. So let me type in something like, let's see, fitness and wellness, meditation. So people that like meditation, what are they into? And it's gonna gravitate towards it and it's going to show me what they like. So their food and beverage company, traditional medicines, Blue Apron, Betty Crocker, Pillsbury. They like Zappos, um, they're into Whole Foods Market. Again, Ikea is a furniture store, and like what these people are more than likely to already like and already be into, already buying, so that you can start targeting these specific things to get the people that like meditation, if that makes sense, so that you're not trying to compete with everybody and their mom that's paying for ads that have to do with meditation. You're actually strategizing and figuring out other interests that they like so that you can target those instead. And this is incredible. You can create tons of different audiences with this tool and then go back and put that audience into the ads manager over here that I was talking about, the custom audiences, creating that custom audience or a saved audience, same thing. And you can bring that back in here and do that. So then you'll put in who you want to target and we'll just throw something random in here. Um, behaviors, digital activities, console games. I'm just going to do that. It's going to be a super broad audience and this tells you how broad or specific your audience is. You kind of want this to be in this green level right here. Maybe in the middle is like your best reach, but there's 13 million people in this audience that like that. I can also narrow the audience in, you know, they have to like console games and they also have to... They also have to be small business owners. <laughs> and that made it 400,000 people. So that narrowed it quite a bit. And you can also add a connection type and say, yeah, they already like my Facebook page. I want to reach out to those people. Or you can exclude people that like your page if you're trying to get like a whole new audience and new eyeballs on what you've got going on. You can also say where you want it to be on Facebook. Do you want to edit your placements and only have people on desktop or only have people on mobile? Do you only want these ads to be seen 
in the newsfeed as they're scrolling down. Like you can control all of this stuff and it is incredible. Again, I'm not gonna get too you know, into everything. I'm just kind of showing you the basics of creating an ad inside of Ads Manager that you could potentially use later on. And you can set the budget. Again, how much money do you wanna spend a day? And you can run this ad continuously or you can set a start date and an end date. And it tells you, you know, if you're spending 20 bucks a day, you're not gonna spend more than $140 a week. And if it's for videos, like this one is saying, um, you can you can pay for um, for through play, so most completed video plays, or you can do 10 second views, which a lot of the time that's what I'm going for because I want them to watch at least 10 seconds. Um, who will get the most out of the 10 seconds that they watch? You can set a bid cap. I don't mess with that too much. Um, it says there's an error. Oh, the name field. That's fine. And then from there, we're going to the ad. So I clicked next basically, and it's coming to the ad. I can use an existing post just like with the boost post and I can just grab a post. Um, we'll just grab that because I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the unboxing of something that I won. But so there's the post. This is what it looks like. And then it shows me previews of what it's going to look like in certain places. So when people are looking at it on desktop and in other places, this is what it's going to look like. So that's cool. Again, you can edit those placements of where you want to see that happen. And then you would just confirm. Now, if you were creating a whole new ad and you didn't want to use a post you had already created, you would go back and you would say video and you would upload your video. Or if you already have videos uploaded to your ads manager, you would browse library, grab some videos and do that and you can put text, you can put a button if you want, so it'll say like learn more, um, something along those lines. See like add button, learn more, and then you would type in a URL to where you want them to go. Like if this was a conversion ad, I want them to go to, you know, my landing page or my business website, wherever you're trying to direct traffic, that's where you would put the URL. And so that's why it's not letting me add a button because I don't have a URL right now. And you can also put URLs in the actual ad itself. I highly recommend doing that um, just because people don't always click on the button even though you've put the link in there three or four times and you put the button and sometimes you still have people not doing that. But it's it's whatever. <laughs> you definitely want to put your links in there if you're trying to do a conversion ad in driving traffic. And as far as the types of ads that you place, it totally depends on what your end goal is and what your campaign is all about. So let me get out of the screen share just for a moment and just talk to you guys. So when you are crafting your ad campaign and what your outcome is, you need to kind of figure that out. Am I creating an ad campaign so that I can get traffic to my landing page, which will, you know, run them through my funnel and then get them to buy something at the end? Am I trying to get people to watch this video, learn more about who I am and what I can do for them and not have any links at all, but just get engagement or just get video views. And then later on, I can run a series of videos in my campaign. And when I feel like I have you know, enough eyeballs, enough people that have known me, I can then try to sell them something. Like you gotta figure out what is the purpose of your campaign and what is it that you're trying to do? From there, that's when you can start really thinking about your ad. And am I gonna do you know, just a picture with a really awesome video in my ad? Am I gonna do or a picture with a really awesome story in my ad, sorry. Or am I gonna do a video telling someone, you know, teaching someone something specific? Am I just gonna kind of do a highlight reel of who I am and what my business can do for somebody? Like what am I doing and what, how can I showcase that the best way? Also, I didn't even get into it, but when you're creating your campaign, you can create different ad sets within the campaign and create different ads within those ad sets so that you can test. You always want to be testing because as long as you're running ads, you know, there's always one ad that's going to do better than the other ad. So why waste money? on a bunch of ads that aren't working correctly. Because once you start running these campaigns, you're gonna get numbers that you can look at and learn how to read and, and determine, okay, people really aren't watching this video. I am getting no engagement. I am getting no video views. It's costing me way more than I would like for them to watch my video. So I am just gonna can this and then go from there, start from scratch, you know. Or if you have a 
picture that you want to try out you have a couple of pictures that you want to try out in your ad you can do like different ad sets with a different picture and see like okay my audience really likes this picture or nobody liked this picture like at all let's scrap it let's start again and again even with the copy the writing inside of your ad did my story really move people to what I wanted them to do were they really captivated with my words and my story did I make an impact enough for them to want to click so you you have all this all these tools and all of this information in front of you that you can use to make educated decisions on your ads and what you're going to do with them and that is why I love the Facebook ads manager platform because it is it is simple compared to a lot of other ones I've utilized Google ads I've utilized Pinterest ads I've utilized Twitter ads and even YouTube a little bit it was the same thing with Google ads basically but like Facebook ads are like the simplest ones I would say to set up and then to, to determine your numbers coming back in once you learn this stuff it's gonna be so easy for you to just jump in there and be like okay you know this ads working really well let's keep it running let's put more money so we can reach more people or this ad is not doing well I'm just throwing money away by using this ad so let's scrap it start again test something else and test different elements at a time don't test a bunch of different stuff at one time because then you're not gonna know what's working but you can test like pictures you can test like your ad copy you know to the same audience to kind of figure out what works better for that particular audience so there's just so many things that you can do with this and this is incredibly powerful because you can pick and choose the exact people you want to see your ad the exact people you want to watch your videos the exact people that you want to purchase your product because they are your ideal buyer and this is an incredibly powerful tool that can take your business and just skyrocket it no matter what it is even if you just want to make a video go viral like I talked about yesterday that's how I did it that's how I got 20,000 plus views that's how I got 10 11,000 plus views and then I did it organically too which was freaking awesome but I can still utilize that video I could take it now that it's gotten so many views and then you know share it again and get even more views because I, I saw that that did really well people really liked that that video so you can utilize this no matter what type of business you're in even if you're in something like a nonprofit and you just need more donations and things like that you can target people that are already giving to the ASPCA that are already giving to other big animal welfare organizations and I talk about animal welfare a lot because I am fired up about it I'm passionate about it that's what I'm going to do in the very near future is start my own rescue so you can utilize that you know it's not just for-profit businesses no matter what it is that you're doing even if you just want to grow your following and become an influencer this is the way to do it is with paid advertising and I get not having a huge budget but you can boost posts for a dollar a day that is really cheap you can thirty dollars for a month you can boost a post and gain a little bit of traction and gain a little bit of a following just by doing that what's up heart thanks for joining me you can do so much with this little tool and there's so many different um, strategies that you can use in order to grow your business in order to get more eyeball eyeballs on your products and services and things that you're all about if you have a podcast you can reach out to people that already like other podcasts that are similar to yours and throw in like a highlight video or like some clips of like your really best parts of your podcast and people will be like oh that sounds like a really cool podcast let me go you know follow them let me go subscribe to that podcast like you can do so much with this and it is such an incredibly powerful tool and it's completely different than having to start from scratch on YouTube and try to make it big because it's a lot more difficult to go the YouTube route and do it I'm not saying don't do it absolutely do it and tomorrow I'm actually gonna be talking a little bit about YouTube but this is the fastest and easiest way to build your following to get your brand out there to get more eyeballs on your stuff so is this making sense to you guys are you liking what I've what I've shared with you you know give me some likes and loves and comments down below I want to make sure that I'm providing the most value that is possible because like I said this is marketing in the 21st century this is what is gonna take your business to the next level and get you where you want to be no matter what that is no matter if you just want to create 
more of an income for yourself or you just have an amazing product or service that needs more eyeballs on this like let me know guys what you think and if this is really valuable to you i'm super pumped up i'm super passionate about this because this is what i've been learning for the past two and a half years this is how i'm able to make random thousand dollar sales you know it's not really random because it's marketing it's the process it's what i've been doing putting my heart and soul into to become a master at and I want to share with as many people as possible. I want to help as many people as possible do this for themselves. And if you just have no desire to learn, but you want help with it, you are more than welcome to reach out to me and I will help you. I am up for hire. <laughs> um, that's not even why I did this Facebook Live to, to, to try to get business. I'm doing it because I literally want to help, but I understand that at times you, you're just so swamped with your business and you don't understand what you're doing that you need help and you would rather outsource it. I'm all for it. I will definitely help you out no matter what business model that you're in. I can help you with something. So I am doing these Facebook lives to teach and to help as many people as I possibly can. I'm actually going to turn these into a podcast myself. So if you're liking this, let me know, share it with your friends and get pumped and get excited for the podcast because it's coming really soon. I'm not going to start, you know, share a release date or anything like that, but it is coming. I am starting a business podcast called Brimo Live Journey to Six Figures because I am documenting my journey to getting to six figures and how it's happening step by step by step so that you can watch me as I'm going along as I'm doing this. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. Joetta said, yes, excited that I'm doing this. Thank you, Joetta. This is definitely for people like you that need this information to, you know, and have someone break it down and help you with that. So you're welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know I got a few of you on here. I got at least seven people on here right now. So thank you guys so much for watching and for just, you know, giving me your time because I appreciate it. Time and attention is valuable today. So thank you so much for jumping on and allowing me to show you what I've been learning the past two years. So thank you for watching. Tomorrow, around the same time, I'll see how my day goes. I'm going to jump on with another Facebook Live. I'm going to be talking about YouTube and how to grow your awareness and to be more in front of the right people like I just talked about today, except more organically. I'm not going to be talking about paid stuff. I'm going to be talking about free methods that you can use to, to build up your following on YouTube and to build up your YouTube channel. So if you're excited and you're pumped, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome rest of your day. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.